What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Lux, aka the Mary Gamer. And today is the day. At midnight tonight, the release of NCAA Football 12 will be out. And needless to say, I'm very excited for the game. Uh, I've had I played pretty much every NCAA game that's been out ever since the Bill Walsh days. Got every version that's been on the next gen system. Um, NCAA Football 11 was a, a big breakthrough year for the franchise because they introduced uh, local motion into the game, which improved gameplay a whole lot. Um, new lighting, new physics, all that good stuff. And it really improved the game by leaps and bounds over NCAA Football 10. So the changes or updates that they've made for NCAA Football 12, while on the surface they may seem minor, uh, they actually improved the game quite a bit, and especially when you talk about the run game. Uh, they've eliminated, I'm pretty sure if you guys are interested in the game, that you followed the updates that uh, Ben Howe Miller has been putting out and uh, the guys over at EA Sports. Uh, pretty much they've eliminated the suctioning, which is basically when you're running the ball or on defense, whatever situation you're in, there's already these pre can animations that were pretty much suction your player into uh, to complete that animation and basically you'll feel like you've been cheated out of yardage or whatever. But now uh, with the, the the new technology that they have that takes that whole suctioning equation out of it, uh, I've been looking at some videos on YouTube where I've seen some amazing runs that have been pulled off and that would have never happened in NCAA Football 11 or any previous version. So. Uh, I just came from GameStop. I traded in my NCAA Football 11 to, uh, you know, create it towards the new game because I felt, you know, obviously I'm not going to need it. I'm not going to go back and try to play it anymore. And uh, went ahead, put the prepay down on that. Well, I've already had it prepaid. I just put a little extra on it uh, so I can get my um, I prepay so I can get the, of course, the Pro Combat uniforms from GameStop. Uh, Amazon was running a very good deal where you can get. Um, like twenty twenty three dollars off if you was getting a three sixty version like you get a twenty dollar off credit and then it was like fifty six ninety nine or something like that and they really they offered a, a lot of good value uh but I already had the game prepaid at gamestop and I would figure you know I really don't feel like jumping through the hoops of having it ordered at this place and then going to order it at this place and it may not come in on the day I want it so I was like you know just Forget it. I just keep it how it is and you just pay like I normally would and just be done with it. But anyway, um, just came from GameStop roughly about 30 to 45 minutes ago and all GameStop should have NCAA Football 12 on display, the retail version. And my GameStop happened to have it on the PlayStation 3. So I played it and uh, I didn't do a lot of uh, single player gameplay. I did a lot of uh, CPU versus CPU because I really like to put the CPU uh, against each other and looking at the new broadcast camera that they put in this year it looks amazing I mean it looks really really good uh, especially when you throw into the fact they have the you know, the new lighting system uh, things just look a lot better they, that's basically all I can say um, and I'll be uploading those clips right after this after you see this video you see you should see about three clips uh, now let me warn you, these are not very long clips, they're, they're quick, uh, like a minute and a half to two minutes and a half. Um, the first one is showing the entrance and uh, a couple plays from Kansas State, of course, which is my uh, favorite team. Um, and the second clip is showing, what is the second clip showing? Oh, because I put Kansas State against uh, Michigan. So the second clip is showing a couple plays from Michigan. I did go into the uh, edit player uh, menu and I edited Denard Robinson. I put his name on his jersey and I gave him dreads. And it's kind of weird because they introduced dreads this year, but they only have there's only one template, one face template that actually has dreads, and that's uh, the medium skin tone and it's uh, the fourth head. So when you go to medium four for the head, that's the only one that I've noticed that has dreads attached to it. So uh, you know, when you want to put dreads on, make sure that you go to the medium skin tone. You won't be able to put like a dark skin tone player with dreads, at least at this point. Hopefully that's something that maybe they can patch in. I don't know. It depends on how many people want that. But it's not a big deal. Uh, but anyway, I put the dreads on him and, you know, also wanted to put the last name on there just to make sure that uh, they actually say the name. 
because uh, I know there's been a lot of talk about you know player likeness and all that. I'm not sure how far EA is willing to separate itself from the whole you know player likeness and you know risking you know a lawsuit and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, and then the third video clip is Syracuse versus Ohio, and that's not Ohio State. That is just Ohio, the Bobcats. Um, I feel that there's a lot of footage already on YouTube of some of the major schools. I mean, you have Ohio State, Alabama, Florida, uh, you know, TCU. Some of the more popular names are already on YouTube that people can uh, get some footage of. I decided to just do two random teams that are not real popular anymore. Well, not popular, period. Syracuse at one point had a little popularity, but they've kind of fallen down a little bit. So I just put Syracuse versus um, Ohio. And the reason why I chose those two teams... Well, Ohio was just random, but I chose Syracuse on purpose because one thing I wanted to see was how the lighting looked in a dome. I know typically when you're playing in dome games, uh, they always have like a bluish tint to them. And it's not necessarily true when you're playing inside a dome. I mean, they still have natural looking lighting. Uh, it's not always a fluorescent type of light. And I think that's what EA is trying to go for is have that fluorescent type of you know, light fixture, well not fixture, but fluorescent type of lighting. So all the players, uniforms and helmets, they have sort of like a bluish shade to them. But Syracuse's dome, their dome has, a, you know, very good lighting. So there was a good, I had to go ahead and catch a little clip of that so you guys can see that. Not sure about the other domes. Uh, I have seen some clips and they, the other domes do look like they have that bluish tint to them. So I don't know, maybe Syracuse is just a little different. But anyway, um, I'm really excited tonight. I'll be picking my game up at midnight. And um, I'm not really sure what the first thing I'll do. Probably play with Kansas State against, you know, random team. I don't know. Maybe put them against Miami because we actually played them for the first time this year. So I probably would do that. Um, but you guys, you know, let me know. What would you like to see as my first videos that I post for NCAA Football 12? Would you like to see, uh, you know, me playing... Um, just exhibition it would between you know two teams of your choosing would you like for me to go into practice mode and try that out would you like me to start a road to glory to see how that is because of course in road to glory this year you can input team builder uh, uh, team creations now so I'll be working pretty much throughout the evening on recreating some of the high school teams that our school played against um, so I'll be run I'll be playing as a uh, hunters lane which is in a uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I'll be creating some few teams that we play on our on our schedule, which would be like Maplewood, Weiss Creek, uh, maybe some Pearl Cone, Riverdale. Uh, now, I don't think we play all those on our schedule, but those are some of the local teams that are kind of well known, so I'll probably create them in Team Builder. And also in Team Builder, uh, you know, pretty much, if you guys know anything about Team Builder, you just go to, uh, I think it's easports.teambuilder.com. Um, or whatever. Just go to the EA Sports World, or go to matter of fact, go to the NCAA Football 12 homepage from EA Sports, and there should be a link. I think when you go to Community, uh, the sub menu of Community that should have Team Builder. You just click that, and it take you right to the Team Builder site. Uh, if you don't have a profile set up, go ahead and set one up then. And basically, what Team Builder is, it's where it's a tool that EA has put together, which is a very nice tool, honestly, to be um, to be frank. You can, it has all these different templates. You can create anything you want. Uh, you know, you, you, they have logos pre-made for you if you want to use some of the logos they have, or you can create your own logo. Uh, you can just go to Google if you want to create. And basically what I use it for, I've created pretty much about 90 to 92 percent of all the FCS teams. So those are your teams. If you don't know what FCS teams are, those are the teams that actually are they're on the lower tier of college football. So basically, you have your FBS team, which is football bowl, subdivision, I believe. That's where you have your teams like Ohio State, Tennessee, uh, you know, Michigan. FCS teams are your teams like Appalachian State, uh, Villanova, Eastern Washington. So those teams, I've created pretty much all of them. Uh, I think the only ones I'm lacking is some of the Ivy Leagues and a few from like Pioneer and the Patriot League. But I pretty much have all of them. I'm still working on rosters for, for a lot of them. Uh, but I am a part of a thread over in Operation Sports where it's called the FCS um, uh, Creation Thread. I forgot the title of it, but I was a, 
I'm a big part of. I was a big part of that last year creating teams. I created probably the most FCS teams on the that they had listed out there, and I continue to go through and create all those teams this year. Uh, most of my rosters have art. All I got to do is kind of update the uh, the leaving seniors and the incoming freshmen. Uh, so I, it's not going to be as difficult as it was last year to do. But you know, for this year, I'll be sure to uh, you know get those things updated pretty quickly so people can start downloading them. But anyway, Team Builder is a site where you can go and you can download the teams that you want to import into your game. So let's just say for an example, you remember the year where Appalachian State beat um, Michigan. Well, since Appalachian State is an FCS team, th those teams do not come shipped with the game. So you can be creative and recreate those teams. And there's a lot of templates you can use to find the right jersey style and pants and the helmet and everything. So. That's pretty much what I've done with Appalachian State and, and many other teams that I've created. You can import those into the game. You, you can't do it from the website. You have to go into the game itself. There's a menu for Team Builder. I think it's like in the creations menu or something. You go to Team Builder and then you just put in my gamer tag, which is Lux21. Actually, I have two gamer tags that you can use uh, Lux21 and the other one is Flam Flu. I have teams on both of them because. I actually used up all the slots I had in, in the Lux 21 profile. Yeah, I, I thought it was supposed to be unlimited, but look, it kept me out at not 119. So if I reached 119 teams on Lux 21, I couldn't add anymore. So I had to use my backup profile to, to continue to add more FCS teams. Because I believe there's about 126 FCS teams. So um, I ran out of space on one profile, so I had to start my other one up. But Anyway, if you need any more help on that, just let me know and I'll try to uh, provide you with some more information on how to get those teams. So, I think this video has probably went on long enough. Uh, like I said, I can't wait for NCAA Football 12 to come out this, well, this to midnight. And uh, I'll be one of the first in line to pick mine up, come back home so I can play a little bit. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys online or uh, comments on the videos on what you'd like to see me do. This is your boy, Mr. Lux. I'm out. Peace.